Trey is kind of like in a similar place to Russ right now, where Trey launches a lot of shots, tons of heat checks. He obviously doesn't play defense. Like, he's notorious for his defensive effort and intensity. Off ball um, stuff, too, offensively. Yeah. And, like, I mean, th- like, th- there's enough of the consistency of the leaks here. And when you talk to people that know people in Atlanta or talk to people that are in Atlanta, it's like you're hearing, like, the, the story is being consistent enough that there's only so much hearsay like there's a lot of copycat intel that happens around the league when it comes to people's reputations where like you know one thing comes out and then everybody's like seeing it through that same lens even though it may not be necessarily fair i think at this point the stuff on trey has been consistent enough that we can see we can see behind the closed door with that one we don't have to really worry about or i guess we should always worry about the accuracy but i think we're all feeling pretty comfortable knowing what the situation is there and this further confirms it Okay, so here's a question, guys. You would trade Trey Young over DeJounte Murray, right? Because DeJounte's got a free agent decision coming up, not this summer, but I believe the next summer. And DeJounte's more of a two-way player than Trey is. Trey might have more value in a trade market, and you're trying to change your culture. So that's got to be the solution, right? Like, you got to start measuring what you can get for Trey, uh, whether that's players, picks, whatever, so that you can actually properly develop a culture where you're doing things on both ends of the floor. Well, there are two issues there. One, you just gave away three picks to get DeJounte Murray, so you're not in a position where you could just start tanking, right, because the the Spurs own a whole bunch of your future picks. Uh, So that's one issue, and that's another issue in trading DeJounte because you're not going to get as much value back as you gave away to get DeJounte pretty right. much in any trade, especially with him being so close to free agency. Uh, so I would think DeJounte getting traded is out the window and then trading Trey and starting over is out the window because you, you don't have your picks in the future. And then also, if you're looking at a Trey Young trade, and I would say this is the case maybe more than any of these other stars out there, you're not just trading for a great player. When you trade for Trey Young, you're like, okay, we're Trey Young's team now. And when he comes in, he's going to have the ball all the time. He's going to be the leader of the offense. We got to direct our defense around his weaknesses. You're devoting yourself completely to Trey Young. And we've seen in Atlanta, that doesn't really get you far a whole lot of times. And it's not only that, it's the fact that his teammates don't really rock with him like that. He has issues getting along with coaches. You have issues disciplining him behind the scenes. So when you add all of that into the mix, how many teams are really going to be willing to say, yeah, I'm handing over the keys to Trey Young and we'll see how far he can take us when one and hasn't worked in Atlanta Two, you got to worry about all this other crap behind the scenes. Uh, I just think it, it it damages his his value way more than it should when we're talking about a dude who's averaging 27 and 10 every night. Uh, so I think it makes it extremely complicated for anything Atlanta wants to do. I expect that Atlanta is going to start exploring it and it's going to start getting out this summer. I just, I think at this point, unless obviously something changes here, I think it's kind of a no brainer. You have to start looking at that and like, let's look at who are the teams out there that you can see it happening with. We know Orlando wants a a really good point guard and they have a lot of good talent. There definitely is a viable way that you could do a trade where you, you get a couple picks from Orlando and then you get like two of their good, like wing players or, or bigs or something like that. That that definitely could be possible. You wouldn't have your franchise cornerstone anymore, but you could have like a good depth of fringe all star players there. Um, so that's one option. You could try trading him for like Lamelo Ball, and I don't really know. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if that makes sense because Lamelo Ball is kind of like a similar situation. Except I don't think people like. I don't think there's as much disdain for Lamelo. It's just like Lamelo just like doesn't know how to play winning basketball at this point. Um, but I think Lamelo maybe is more willing to listen and, and win uh, to try to win. Then I would also now. say uh, LaMelo in Atlanta would be something. <laughs> That's all I want to say. <laughs> LaMelo with Cuevos in courtside and two chains. That'll be something. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, great. Um, I mean, obviously I want to see him get traded to the next for Jalen Brunson. That would be the best case scenario. Have him b- bowing down to them MSG every single night. That'd be incredible. Um, but like, I don't think Sacramento is a candidate for it anymore. I don't know if Houston would so. do that. Like, Houston has a lot of players that you like. If you if you if you offer Trey Young for Jalen Green, for instance, and then like, I don't know how the matching would go, but I'm sure it could be figured out. Like, would you do that if you're Houston? 
Not because Harden coming back to save the day. Yeah, I was about to say, man. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to do Trey and James Harden together, I'm sure that'll be great. Everybody would would love to play against Houston every night with those two in the backcourt. Well, who would you rather have right now? Would you rather have Harden at his age or Trey at his age? You'd rather have Trey. Yeah, just because of age. Just because of age. Just right? of age. And yeah. it seems like Harden's get closer to the end uh, than Trey is for sure. Hard does also a lot better than Trey right now, I think. He 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 is, but you also know that, and I know James knows that the cliff is approaching, and mm. we we've seen it. 